I'm Jack, I'm from the Maloney Dairy, and we're running the no-till drill today. We are planting meadow fescue and also ryegrass with clove, annual clover in all of our perennial pastures. The drill has two seed boxes, a grass seed box and a grain box. Both boxes have a seed rating chart that's located on the inside based on the crop that you are planting. Here we can see that Jack is making adjustments based on the seed mix that he's planning to use today. For the grain box, you can change the rate by moving the crank on the yellow meter. It's also important to adjust the seed cup lever on all of the seed cups. This lever has three positions and it correlates to the size of the seeds that you're planting. Check the operator's manual for more details on what lever position to use. The grass seed also has an adjuster that's located right under the boxes and it correlates to the rate setting chart as well. It doesn't adjust very easy. To engage the clover box, you turn this lever until it lines up right like that. And then it's in a little spin when you drive. little gear will catch and that turns the whole machine when it goes. And then to adjust the depth, you adjust the, um, the height of this, so that's all the way down to the bottom, and then all the way up. Uh, is goes up higher. And that's the depth for your seating depth. The press wheel is the middle wheel and it runs in the bottom of the furrow and it presses the seed down firmly. And it has a rubber ring. So it's very critical to raise the wheels when you're turning at the ends of your field or it can bend the disc and it can pop off the, off the rubber rings and they're very expensive and hard to replace. It's important not to use the drill in wet or muddy conditions because it will cause the inside of these boots to get packed with mud and they're very difficult to clean out. So you adjust the down pressure with the gauge on the front and you turn the knob and you lock with the knob. You keep it at the top of the green zone and you never want to go into the red zone. Too much down pressure will lose your depth control. Where do we clean? How do we clean it out? Well, if you have a clog, undo this nut and then pull the tube out and then blow it out with air down this hole and that will blow all the air out of the thing. When cleaning, you can, there's a little levers right here, drop them all the way, run the drill and then blow air from the top down out through all of them. And that will get all the seed out. Whenever you're storing the drill, please use this yellow cover in order to keep everything dry. So that's really kind of um, was the original intent is to plant some covers, plant some possible species for cover crops and then have people out and ask questions about how when you go, when someone comes and says, I want to do a cover crop, what information do you all need to know? It, that's the conversation I want to have. What it's does like, it look like when you have to go out and you have to look at the cover crop before it's terminated? And so that, that was the original intent here is really just to have you out in the field and, and you know, get some tactile experience in, the, in these species and various ones that we picked today. I'd just like to start just walking kind of through the paths here and start to go over the species that we have and you know when we planted what we planted and, and that sort of stuff. Let's start here. So a few a few clovers. This is a balanza and we have two brassines and a white clover. 
and, and you know, you, a lot of times you probably do this in a mix. We're, we're separating the species out, so none of these are in mixes, and it's just to get a, a, an individual eye on them. But you know, most of the time you would want to get the mix in there to have the diversity of, of root structures and stuff in that with the combined for that soil health of plant diversity. What was your seeding rate? Uh, seeding rate, what's it say right here? I don't know, top of my head. 12 pounds to the oh, acre. Oh, I see. Oh, I see.